Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah or Rabb, the most beautiful names of Allah, God and series. Allah or Rabb, the Lord, the nurturer. Who is Allah or Rabb? Today we will learn a very important name, Allah or Rabb. There is a very important question which we all want to memorize and know. Who is your Rabb? My Rabb is Allah. Man Rabbuka? Rabbi Allah. Who is your Rabb? My Rabb is Allah. Imagine something small who makes it grow. Allah or Rabb? Someone does not know who will teach him. Allah or Rabb? Someone is hungry who will feed him. Allah or Rabb? Someone is lost who will show him the way. Allah or Rabb? Who will take care of us? Allah or Rabb? Allah or Rabb owns everything and can do everything. He created everything and he commands us to do good such as to pray and he commands us to stay away from all that's bad. Who is our Rabb that nurtures so, us so that we become better? Allah or Rabb. Without Allah or Rabb, we will not know and we will be hungry and lost. For example, we might speak so loudly and do not listen when we are told to do something. So how does Allah nurture us? He will give us a mother to nurture us and tell us not to scream and have good manners. Or Allah gives us teachers so that we learn letters, maths, the Quran and about Allah. Look at the many blessings Allah gives us, such as the moon, sun, oxygen. Allah nurtures us so that we learn about him. He teaches us to pray and have good manners so that we go to Jannah. Allah gives us food, drink, parents, teachers, so that we become better. We cannot be better on our own. And the better we become, the more hasanat we will have, and the higher our level will be in Jannah. Jannah is beautiful and perfect, so we need to get nurtured to love Allah, to obey Him, to do good, and to have good manners. Sometimes there can be something in our heart, such as being jealous. For example, we think, why do they get and not me? Allah or Rabb nurtures us to not be jealous or do bad, but to, but to should ask him to give us. Or sometimes a person thinks he's so good and always wants to be first, so Allah will make him second and it bothers him. But this to learn to love for others just as he loves for himself. The best nurturing is in the Quran. We have to be pleased with Allah and not get upset because Allah is our Rabb. To be pleased means to not complain or get upset because Allah is our Rabb. In the morning and evening of Qar, we say, Raditu Billah Rabban. I am pleased with Allah as Rabb. This means we accept the nurturing of Allah because He nurtures so that we become better and can go to Jannah. Don't we all want to go to Jannah? Of course. So we accept the nurturing of Allah. Allah is the rub of everyone. Not just the people, but also the jinn, angels, the heavens and the earth. Allah takes care of everyone and everything. So we do not need to worry. What should we say? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praises are due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. When we believe Allah is our Rabb, what should we do? To worship Allah alone because he is our Rabb and he takes care of all of us. We ask Allah our Rabb to give us. We should never forget this question and answer. Who is your Rabb? My Rabb is Allah. To always say, I am pleased with Allah as a Rabb. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah Rabb Al-Alameen. We love Allah our Rabb.